this is Morris from MorrisFisherBlog.com. Uh, I was with a friend the other day, and we were talking about words, words that heal and words that kill. And uh, he brought up a saying that I hadn't heard for a long time. And that saying was, uh, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. And I got thinking about that. <laughs> I remember my teacher saying that every time that I was hurt uh, by names. And my mother always used to say that to me as a young kid. I haven't thought about it, but I started thinking about it. Sticks and stones may break my bones. And my first intention, or my first kind of deal was, yeah, that's a true saying. And then I really got thinking about it. You know, sticks and stones may break your bones, but you can be healed from that. Like, bones heal, and scars heal, and scuffles heal, and so on and so forth. But words, words are very powerful and you don't know what the outcome of those words will be. Uh, once you utter a word, it is in the hearer's psyche uh, for time and eternity. You cannot retrieve those. And so, I got thinking about those. How words that we choose, that we say, the emotion that we say them in, uh, can have long-lasting effects. And I was talking to a colleague of mine, about those words and he's uh, a counselor and uh, he says that uh, that is one of the things that he has to deal with all the time is words like he said she called me this she or, or he or whatever so fill in the blanks uh, that, that fit and then I got reading uh, that those can have devastating effects or empowering effects. And a wise man bridles his tongue. He chooses his words very carefully. And I came up with this from a book that I've been reading, and it is, words can kill, words can give life, they're either poison or fruit, you choose. So if you are a victim of words, good or bad, it still comes down to your choice. You can be victimized by disenfranchising words, or you can choose not to be. Just a thought for today. And uh, this is Morris wishing you an abundant life. Bye for now.